again, I am Blunty. Guess what I'm going to talk about today. If you guessed MSI's gaming laptops, the gaming number one, what was the, the shadow desktop performance cliche whole thing? That's why I am in Taipei uh, this week. MSI brought me up here to basically show me a big, well not just me, a whole bunch of international press, a big stage presentation full of actual dancers and models and very awkward sort of stage play, high school uh, uh, acting. We are about to shatter this cliche today. Oh, impressive. Then what about the panel, Stephen? Well, good question. It's now able to deliver the same performance as the one for desktop PC. No, no, no. Something's <laughs> wrong right here. Ah, uh, excuse me, sir. Who are you? I am senior editor with 20 years in IT. <laughs> Beneath all of that spectacular, wonderful, very, very Asian presentation, uh, there was some fantastic information about some amazing products. Their new line of laptops when it comes to gaming, yet proper desktop performance level gaming. And I mean, they showed us charts where the 3D Mark scores they, against a desktop and a laptop with, you know, basically the equivalent sort of uh, uh, setup. And while on laptops you would normally have to compromise because of performance and power and heat and all that kind of stuff, these 3D Mark scores were the same. And it's not just the new NVIDIA GeForce GTX 10 series cards that make this possible. They've got other technologies that sort of bring laptops up another level and another level and another level. They've got uh, special boosting technology for their SSDs, which is uh, delivering very, very stable and very, very high performance data delivery. While most, you know, high performance SSDs, if you look at a chart of activity, it spikes and everything. These ones sort of nail almost a flat graph. I'm really excited to try and get hands on them with that in the real world and see if it holds up to that because that's very impressive kinds of SSD speeds. They've gone full hog on the sound experience as well. Naturally, it was a bit tough to get any sense of the audio quality in a noisy ballroom full of chittering press and stuff. But on a technical basis, it seems like it'll be a damn good system. It's a nice combination of hardware and software to enhance and give you a ton of control over the sound. And control is one of the key words to a lot of this stuff, with hotkeys to do neat stuff like instantly switch highly customized screen modes for gaming and movies and reading. And that's the tip of the iceberg. MSI really seem to have a great idea about how to make some of the technical stuff super easy to access and super quick to access, more importantly. Now, of course, I'm not going to give a verdict until I get to spend more time with one of these things, to be sure, but it seems like something well beyond the usual branded apps you get to control basic hardware functionality. They've got some brand new screens in several of the laptops that are 120 hertz, but also extremely high color gamma, so 94% of NTSC coverage, whereas most sort of average to low quality I, uh, IPS panels and stuff like that is somewhere around 74% NTSC coverage, so much more vivid, natural, beautiful looking colors, very bright. 120 hertz, of course, uh, which is fantastic. And of course, you've got the 4K gaming alongside that, because we know now that we have the GTX 10 series on laptop computers. GTX 1070, 1080, you can do 4K gaming, do it properly on a laptop. But cramming all these high performance technologies into a laptop comes at the cost of heat. Usually you've got a very small space in a laptop and you've got to control that heat somehow, otherwise the, the, you have to clock the components down and slow them down so the whole thing doesn't melt in your lap or your desk or set fire to itself or something else dramatic like that. And what they were talking about today was a brand new cooler design, well not a brand new cooler design, an evolution of their existing cooler design which was already pretty good. But yeah, the story is MSI first out the door with GTX 10 series gaming laptops, a whole range, you can go out and buy them right now apparently. Everything from like the, the very, very slim, like ridiculously slim GTX 1060 based laptop that I hint, uh, talked about in my video about the um, original announcement of the GTX 10 series, all the way up to the brutally just chunky as hell, serious, absolutely zero compromises, unbelievable powerhouse <laughs> desktop replacement but there's no room in this video for a full-on breakdown of each and every model so here's the sweep over them six categories 
12 new models and basically they break down from the GT series which are huge and bulky and cripplingly powerful zero compromise desktop replacement models. There are even models with dual GTX 1070s in SLI. Can you imagine? <laughs> I'm giddy just thinking about it. Then you go down through the GS, GE, GP and GL series all of which target different balances between power and weight and size and design and stylishness and all that kind of stuff. For me, speaking personally, well, I've got my own very powerful hand-built custom water-cooled big rig desktop gaming machine at home, so I don't need a replacement for it. What sings to me from the lineup here is something that will complement that machine, something highly portable, but without compromising on the power. So then I've got the option for when I'm on the road or traveling and whatnot, I can game properly with all the pretty stuff turned up that I like, and a machine with enough grunt to mean I can even Twitch stream while away from home which is something I simply can't do right now. I don't have a machine that'll serve that purpose. So I would choose the GT62 VR, which comes in two model variations. The only real difference being the one has a GTX 1060. The other one has a GTX 1070. Frankly, either would suit the performance level that I need from it. But given the choice, I'd get the GTX 1070 model, of course, with the 4K 100% Adobe RGB screen option. Woof. That would give me the option to game in 4K, which is obviously glorious, but maybe more importantly for me, so I can do neat stuff like game in a 1080p window while having the rest of the programs like OBS and the Twitch chat window and stuff that I used to stream with visible on the desktop, and bam, I've got myself a superb, super tidy, travel friendly gaming and streaming rig. It'll be insane! And heck, it'll even kick ass at VR, of course, which is still just wild to think about in a laptop this slim. <laughs> it's even overclockable, by the way, which is a bit of fun for guys like me who love to tinker. But anyway, that would be the one I would choose. But maybe you need the chunky beasts for a true desktop replacement. Maybe you crave those 120 hertz screens on the bigger screen models. The lineup is actually pretty comprehensive. There is literally something for everyone in there, I think. And a little later this month, I think I'll be able to go further in depth as MSI are throwing another press event in Sydney, local to me. And I'll be going along in the hope that in place of the wonderful flashy stage show that we got this time around, I'm hoping I'll get to go into more detail about all the individual models and who they're for and what the differences are and which one is for which type of gamer. So, I'm being spoken over by the PA now, so I'm going to have to cut myself off now. Please join me in the comment section and tell me what kind of, again, I'm going to ask you this question, what kind of model are you interested in? Do you want the super slim sort of ones or the big chunky desktop replacement ones? Or basically, I think what I'm asking you for this time is, if I'm going to ask MSI for one of these to review, which one do you want me to ask them to review? Which one are you most excited about? Which one do you want to know about? Which one makes you most curious? Which one do you want to know whether it holds up to the, 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 the amazing claims they've made up on stage here? I've got to get one in hands and test it and find out for you. I need you to tell me which one I need to beg for. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I am Blunty in Taipei, which is wonderful. It is incredibly hot outside. It's incredibly hot in here, actually. There's lights and a bunch of people and computers running everywhere, and the air conditioning's not running very well. So I'm, I'm, I apologize if I'm shiny and a bit out of breath. <laughs> I am Blunty. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll catch you next time with more from my adventures in Taipei.